Hey guys, John here. Welcome to the new series, How to Use Pigments. This has become one of my favorite synth, and this video is more to show you what this synth is about, why you should use it, why you should get it, and why it's such an awesome synth to have in your workflow. First things first, it has a very, very excellent UI. I don't really like to say easy because that's kind of to interpretation. It's more so very intuitive, whatever you kind of think in your mind, what kind of concept you want to do. There's a very, very intuitive button or knob or slider or anything really to create that or to have a quick idea in your mind and then bring it right to the forefront, which is kind of also why I like FL Studio. It's very easy to get something from your mind onto the computer or into your DAW, whatever it is of choice. But really the synth is amazing and I don't know why it hasn't picked up as much steam. So hopefully through this video and through this video series of showing you how to use this synth, maybe we can change that together. So the next thing I kind of really like about it is the easy modulation. So for example, if we drop in here to the analog and we have this typical saw, saw wave here, and then we have our cutoff and it's like, okay, let, let's say we want to do a little pluck, maybe open up the, the filter, who knows what, let's, so we click on a plus and we go to envelope number two and then drag this down. It's really that fast. There's no real need to get into graphs or anything like that. Our LFOs are here. We have functions, which we're going to talk all about that as well. Another really cool feature is the complexity of what you can add together with this. So by going to a new preset here, we have two of these engines here. The first engine has an analog engine, then it goes to a wavetable engine, then it goes to a sample engine with granular synthesis, which is a very cool concept, and then the also new additional harmonic engine, which also has a lot of cool stuff, which we will dive into later on in this course. But then not only that, you have a second engine that has all those same as well, and on top of that, you have a utility engine with two additional noise oscillators and then a sub oscillator. And that's not even counting. So for example, in this first analog, you have another noise oscillator here, and then you can have another one here. So like, there's just so many options and possibilities and kind of hidden oscillators. It does wavetable, it does, it does sample, it does granular, it does analog. So it's just, it's almost one of those synths. It's like a Swiss army knife that's actually good quality but you can use it in any sense you want. It's kind of like the last synth you'll ever need in that sense, which I don't necessarily necessarily like saying that, but it's kind of to the point. And a problem, I not really a problem, but an issue I find with a lot of synths is there's going to be good sound generation, but the filters are kind of lacking. There's uh, great filters or great sound generation, but the effects are kind of lacking, which kind of forces you to use external stuff. So changing patches around isn't really as intuitive. This synth here, I think, has solved all those issues. The analog engine sounds great. So even just out of the box, we go to a new preset and then we go to analog, put up the second one here with this drift knob, kind of a default at 0 0.010. Add some unison to that. just has a rich sound and that's just the oscillators no real filtering going on or modulation or effects just straight two saw waves with a little bit of drift and some unison sounds very good straight out of the box so that's that's definitely a win for me moving on from these filters which there's quite a bit and we're going to dive into all of these they sound very very good and that's a big part of synthesis in general you could have good sound you could have good oscillators but if your filters are weak then it's kind of not really going to be a good sound in the very end so moving on from the great filters and the oscillators, the different engines here, which we'll get into very, very in depth later on through this course, the effects section. So this is really cool. So by default, it comes with some delay and some reverb. So for now, let's go to none and remove these. So you have FXA, you have FXB and an auxiliary, which means you have three slots for FXA, three slots for FXB, and then an additional three for the auxiliary send, which you can send stuff over here in the main panel. What's cool about this that I haven't seen in really any other sense as much is that you can just stack on the same process that you would like. So for example, if I went to none, I, want, I wanted uh, a distortion, then I wanted another distortion and then another distortion and I can change from soft clip to just a regular distortion here to a hard clip. And then I have another FXB that I could use three more distortions and then the auxiliary, I could add three more distortions. So that's really, really cool. And a lot of these, these effects modules also come with their own specific presets, which is nice. And you can save your own. So if we did none again on these, what's also kind of nice is there's so many variations of stuff. So just for the time base, we have a delay, we have a pitch shift delay, we have a tape echo, then we have a reverb. 
for distortion, we have regular distortion, what we just saw, the bit crusher, a compressor for dynamics, a multiband compressor. For the modulation, we have the chorus, chorus Juno 6, a stereo pan, which is one of my personal favorites, and we're going to showcase that later. Then you have another filter, multi-filter EQ down here. You have a phaser, a flanger, a BL20 flanger, and a parametric EQ. So it's kind of like they have thought of everything. And then if that's not enough, then we have a sequencer that also is an arpeggiator. So it's kind of mind-blowing how much they have packed into the synth. All these features, everything sounding very good. The modulation being excellent, the UI being excellent. There's just, I don't really have any higher praise for this synth and I don't understand how it's not more, it's not more out there, I guess. Not many people are talking about it. So hopefully through this whole course, we can change that and we can kind of get the synth, the, the praise it deserves because this is a masterpiece in my personal opinion. Also down here at the very bottom, if you haven't noticed, we have an undo an undo history and a redo, which is kind of cool. And then a convenient CPU with a panic button if things get out of control. So it's like a, they've almost really thought of anything right now. It is at pigments 3.5. So hopefully there's going to be some more updates to it. Um, I don't really know what more they can add. One feature I've always wanted is the, uh, if we go over here into the harmonic engine, we don't necessarily have a unison option, which you can kind of cheat it with chorus, but maybe it's more of a processing limitation thing because once you start using this with all the power it has, it does take a lot of processing. So it can bring your CPU a little strain if your CPU is not very good, but maybe that should be somewhere where we can upgrade our computers throughout as time goes on, because as time goes on, things get better. And this is one of the best synths I have used in, uh, as far as soft synths goes. So if you haven't gotten the synth, check out the demo or maybe wait for sale. They come on sale. I've noticed more towards the end of the year. So it's generally something you should get or look into, try it out. And if you spend the time maybe through this course or maybe on your own or reading the manual, the manual is very well written and it's kind of a interesting read. I like reading manuals. I don't know if you do as well, but if you don't, this is what this video series is going to be for. So look out for the next video on the how to use pigment series and yeah, hopefully you get a copy and we'll make some cool music together. See you in the next one.